Yeah, good evening everyone. I am Guru Swami. I work as a professor in an engineering college in Hyderabad, India and I have developed few mobile applications for the kids who have, uh, you know, hearing impaired. And to tell you frankly, like uh, when I go through what all the sessions happening in FOS Asia, all are regarding to technology, are regarding to the hardware and myself and the previous speaker are the one who are into health sector. And I'm very happy to say that I am the only, uh, this is the only work which has been into SS2 technologies when compared to the other technological stuff. And I'm glad like my work has been selected to FOSS Asia because you know the technology has been used for the right path. And coming to me, I work with a college uh, called uh, BV Raju Institute of Technology which is along with uh, Vishnu Education Center. And you know, we have something called SS2 Technology Lab in our college. So this lab works with the specially able people. We work with visually impaired, we work with hearing impaired, we work with special kids, we go to autism schools, we work with uh, old age homes also. And we work closely with um, uh, hospitals and I'm the in charge for that lab which is called as SS2 Technology Lab. So it's enabled. And this made me to work with some organization called SAHI. Uh, uh, do you have this? Uh, uh, no, uh, that uh, pointer. Pointer. Yes. Okay. Sahi is Society to Aid Hearing Impaired. The last one. Let's all hear. This is an NGO which works with the hearing impaired people. So they do operation for that. So with all these combinations, I am able to present my work at FOS Asia, which I feel it as a privilege uh, to do it under open source. Now coming to this, all of you know, hearing is very important sense which human should acquire. But unfortunately in India, 5 to 6% Indians have this hearing impairment and most of them, they have it at their childhood when they have it at birth. If that has not been, uh, you know, it, if it, it has not been detected at the early stage, they may remain dumb, you know, practically we don't use dumb, we, we say it as hearing impaired. So they remain hearing impaired for the rest of the life. That's the most saddest thing. And you know, they pay for the rest of the life because of the Indian scenario, because of their uh, poverty and all those stuff. Hearing plays a very important role in all our society. And because whenever there is a hearing impairment, it's not like the, you know, whether you can hear sounds, whether it low or not, it is totally, you know, you can't hear the sounds completely. There is something called cochlear implant operation which is going to happen. So this is all the hardware stuff which has been done. So we have a transmitter, uh, the uh, transmitter is there which receives the sound and after that it is going to, you know, process it. There is a processor, I think many people would have seen a white one which is being uh, worn by the people who have hearing impaired. And, uh, you know, the cochlear implant happens and they, there are, a, you know, a tube of electrodes will be there which connects to the ear, which bypasses the nerves because they are not working and they just come into this, they just get attached to the cochlea and after that we have the receiver. So what all the sounds are being there, they are being transmitted by the transmitter and receiver is somewhere inside our skull. They make a small joint and they attach it. So this is what being happening whenever you, so finally it comes like a look like this. This is your transmitter and this is your data processor mm -hmm. and your receiver will be attached to this because of the magnet. So finally it looks like this. So basically this is called as cochlear implant operation which is generally done at a very early stage to the kids. So whenever they, it happens to for the kids, what the students, what the kids do, the kids, you know, they can't, you know, they, they are used to the sign language. So they get, they will be always comfortable in the sign language. They don't, you know, after the operation, they suddenly hear many sounds. So when they suddenly hear many sounds, they, they are just confused and they try to use the, you know, sign language. So we want to get them to the real world. In order to get them to the real world, we give something called audio verbal therapy, which is being employed. In this, whenever, you know, in this audio verbal therapy, at the beginning stage of this audio verbal therapy, you know, there are certain words called pa, ba, ma. So where, you know, they just see the lips to be moving. They don't concentrate on the sounds. So this is how, you know, I, there is a, you know, the lady over here, she is she's a, she's a audio therapist and her name is Bhavani. She works with Apollo Hospitals of India. And I'll show you a small video, like how the audio therapy is being given. It's all in my native language, Telugu. Amu, <laughs> 
See, in order to make, you know, the things more simple, so, you know, you can see the lady singing a song, so telling about a story of a cow. So, you know, she is carrying a book and she is showing a cow over there and she is telling about the cow in a rhythmic way. So, that's the therapy which is basically given and she is a senior teacher, special teacher of this school. So, when I visited this school, I got an idea, like, why can't we digitalize it? So, instead of keeping a book or a paper or something, so we thought of digitalizing it. We sat with all these people. We sat with specialized teacher. We sat with audiologists. We sat with, uh, you know, uh, the, um, the doctors and all those stuff. And with the help of all these people, we were able to develop few apps. So, these are the total apps. These are the list of the applications, mobile applications, which we have developed. And these applications were developed by using an open source software and it's very simple to build, which is called as MIT App Inventor. Even a kid, you know, a week, it is just like drag and drop. You don't have to code it really. The code generates automatically by itself. So these are the, you know, the app names. It's a bi-manner app. It's a sounds app where the sounds of the vehicles comes up, where the sounds of different birds, fishes, boats walk, comes up. Same syllable length world. These are the apps which were, these are the names given by the special teachers. And finally, you know, we were able to build up these apps according to their interest. Because we are not specialized in the sounds or the system or the a curriculum which is required. Now I'm coming to the other, I'm, I'm, descri I'm describing each app in more detail. You can see this one is by manner app. So you can see here, cat, bat, rat. So, you know, what happens, the person, the, uh, the kid comes and touches the, you know, it is like, so rat, a teacher, a manual teacher can pronounce rat, rat, rat for five times and she'll be very confused or she'll be very angry when she wants to repeat it for the six times. So, you press it for 10 to 1000 times, it will be telling rat, 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 cat, 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 bat, bat, bat and so on. So, it makes the works of the teacher more simple and you know, it makes the students to learn it again and again. The same way, it's van, can and fan. And the other one is pot, caught and dot. These are words given by, these are the words which are universally followed by the uh, audio therapist. And you know, we got these words accordingly and we were able to do such a kind of app. This is a by manner app. Now, coming to the LTL sounds. These are the, you know, the picture, the home, uh, the first screen or the home screen looks like this so that, you know, we want to make it more attractive to the kids. And later, you know, when you press on this, it's not like monkey going to come up. The sound of the monkey, how monkey, monkey shouts or makes noise is going to come. And the bird sound, the car horn sound, or, you know, the horse running sound, the watch tick tick sound is going to come. So these are the sounds, you know, they have to know all the sounds. So what practically the teacher does, whenever a car comes, they say beep, 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 beep. So they say it orally. So, but we want to show them practically or really, you know, reality, like how the car horn is going to come out or how the horse runs. Whenever a horse runs, we, we make sounds with our mouth. And, but we want to really show like whenever a horse runs practically, what is the sound going to come up? We want to bring the reality into picture rather than mimicking by a human being. So after that, you know, this is another one, same syllable length word. So which was done, uh, you know, according to the teachers, like whenever they cross first level, they can go to the higher level, level two, and they can go to the highest level, level three. And this app has been done in a local language called Telugu. And all the apps which we have done, they were done in three languages because the therapy asked by the clients or the patients is either in English or Telugu or Hindi. And nowadays, few international people from Middle East are coming and they are asking in Urdu also. So this app, you know, it's like in Telugu, we go like kapu, cherry, tomato. So the words keeps on increasing. And after that, you know, kapu, basu, glasu. And you know, kukka, tokka, nakka. So they are all rhythmic kind of things. So which goes like this. So the levels, you can see this is a screen for the level one. This is the screen for the level two and the level three. So this is, these are the apps being developed. And the other app, you know, early vocabulary app. So, wake up, you know, this app is being, as I said, it is done in the local language called Telugu and after that in English and the Hindi language also. And, you know, whenever you go to the home screen, what all you want to do? Whether you want to make them to learn about wake up or brushing or drink water or you can even test the kids on this app. You can provide some tests for them to, for testing. So, I'll show you a screen. So, you know, this is wake up, which is in English. Up is missing here because of the screen problem. 
and after that this one is in uh, native language my own mother tongue nidrale and this is in hindi you know utho so you can see you know all the things just wake up so that's how it has been developed and this one all of you know drink so it is all in my all the languages all three languages we do it so these are in different screens and after that you know bath we have it so this is early vocabulary lab we have to tell them like i want to brush i want to bath and all those stuff we have to train them so there is another app like mono this is same length one where the teachers the special trained teachers are classified into monosyllabic disyllabic and trisyllabic according to difficulty levels so this is the way you know so this is the monosyllabic one this is cup this is ant and fish so they keep on increasing the levels kind of stuff monosyllabic we have done almost 41 screens for every sector and this is the disyllabic one auto apple and camel these are the words which are given by the teachers itself the specialized teachers how they train them on the books and later ice cream and the lorry balloon so it's ice lorry and balloon and this is the trisyllabic word so which is papaya butterfly and bitter gourd so and after that discriminate sounds so these are the again you know we have made it into day cat bat so they are all different so they are discriminate one like door code board these are the different things which we have developed and discriminate you know we have done for three different ones we have gone to different levels and we have done it not only this we have developed something called mobile uh, rhymes app you know this has been uh, our own idea like why can't we develop them onto the mobiles this is the rhymes app which has been developed in the local native language called telugu and after that this is the one which has been done in the english with taking few examples and after that there has been another one called color app i thought like i'll show this app to you which has been very interesting you can see here whenever something is pressed the orange color blue color yellow color green color pink color yeah see all of you uh, you can see a girl talking there so the teacher specially required we don't want professionals to speak we want the kids to learn in such a way like their neighbor or the sister is teaching them and they don't want male voice to be used there they want female voice to be used because they are you know the training is mostly given by women the teachers are all women so they feel more attached for that so you can see the colors whenever they touch the color the color will be coming up uh, it will be spelt out and you know here this is an exercise where they can color the cake you know because it's a most attractive thing they can color the cake with what all the color they required the red orange green blue and pink yellow so they can erase it and they can go for the next one they take the cup and then we erase it and yeah flower we kept I test also this is the test you know paint with and orange color orange color whenever you press wrong color it keeps on telling listen carefully it's orange color unless you press orange it will not go to the next screen the kind with yellow color i carefully it's yellow color paint the fish with green color listen carefully it's green color in the apple fruit apple is all obviously red in color we don't get uh, you know yellow apples or something listen carefully in the apple in the mango fruit mango is obviously yellow in color in the mango fruit yes this is what you know the color me app is going to show and you know i want to show you because instead of showing the screenshot i just want to show you how the storytelling app goes whenever storytelling app it has been done in three languages native language of telugu hindi and english again so this is the screen so rabbit and the tortoise Once 
that's all about english because we have to run this is in hindi language this is in telugu actually yes they can exit this one also what is the advantage of this instead of showing in the book and telling them so the screens go past uh, the screens go on one after the other it looks like a watching a movie and they feel more attentive actually so that's the major advantage of this so you know what is the, you know instead of me speaking about how this app is going to work out I, i have a video of a teacher who really wants to tell you like how this app has been really useful for them she spoke in telugu but i have kept the subtitles in english with the help of my friend bonu so so she is the teacher who is working there and who has given us enough inputs in developing these kind of apps so you know whenever they give audit auditory therapy the stimulus is going to get increase so whenever the stimulus increases థింగ్స్ as it is a mobile they feel like yeah mobile has games it has visual effects they feel like it's going to be very interest and not only teachers you know the parents are also very happy about it they say that not only audio therapy or the speech therapy can be given at the hospitals or rehabilitation center we can by using this mobile app we can uh, you know use them at our own homes so here is one of the experience of the parents who wants to speak to you and this is a video of them yeah this kid all of you can see she had she had gone through cochlear implant you can see the ear and the device and she is her name is vaishnavi she is of 7 years old and they are bringing bringing her every day to the hospital for from one year onwards literally they are coming for last 6 years so the father is repenting like if these kinds of apps are there before i would have trained her more and her future has been much better she would have been in a normal school so that was the experience shared by him so you can go to the subtitles the indian father and women with their kid thank you yeah so with this you know we were able to uh, you know make the lives of many such kids in a better way so with that i'll come to end of my presentation thank you all of you any questions to ask yes so uh first of all awesome project um and uh, uh so maybe this open source right so, yes uh, do you know of any other project that has uh, so called uh, um based off of this project or maybe adopt this project and develop it into some other project yes you know they have uh, the people the special teachers have many projects in their mind and this is the beginning actually so they want to make it more complex they want to make it into more testing and we didn't place it in the google store because we want to work with the students take the feedback revise it revise it there are many such cases like you know hearing impaired kids can be done so there are many projects you know it's it's with the doctors we have to sit with the doctors special teachers the audio therapist and we have to work with them okay so so it, it has um, spun off of inspired many other projects yes 
yes it's just a beginning i can say yes, we still have to go a long way we have to make it more complex rather than simple yes and now you know we are working with other uh, as a part of atl we are working with something called organ donation we work with kidney patients and we monitor them whenever they come to the home by using open source and we find out whether they have to go with medication or dialysis or they have to go for you know whenever there is a kidney failure they have to go for transplantation and stuff that is the other project which we are taking up by using open source itself yeah. any more questions to ask so i have used mit app inventor MIT app inventor you just require a gmail account for that and it's all drag and drop kind of thing it's a child's play which we made it serious that's it our application oriented um, yes yes um thanks for sharing so um you mentioned in your very first slide that approximately 5% of kids yes getting problem yes and how many of them can do the implant yes uh, very good question actually you know 5 to 6% of the indians they have this uh, uh, hearing problem so uh, you know it varies the basic operation happens with uh, 10 lakh indian rupees so it uh, the basic you know the government doesn't fund for this uh, hearing implant so they have to fund by itself and the sahi you know society to aid hearing impaired is an uh, um, you know non profit organization which works mostly with a girl child because in india we have a scenario like you know they uh, they are mostly concentrated to boy kids rather than girl kids it's like you you get them married somehow by paying heavy stuff with a visually impaired or hearing impaired their life is settled but this sahi is supporting only girl child mostly girl child according to their financial situation of the family so you know they test the kid and they find out whether it he, it is uh, by cochlear implantation if he becomes normal so they look at the financial status of the family and there will be continuous interviews to the patient because lot of therapies have to go keep on going because they hear the sounds at a slot whenever cochlear implants happen so the parents taking care of the kid in giving uh, therapies or bringing them back to the therapies to the hospital so they consider many factors and they decide and they sponsor the kid uh, for this operation So sorry. Actually, I have one side, single side use there. So okay. therapy, I think, for my on okay. my left ear. So thank okay. you, Ivan, for yes. Oh, it's my pleasure, always. Yes, yeah. So for the sound, are they really normal sound or computer generated? No, it's uh, human sound. They don't want uh, you know computer generated sound, which uh, which is totally uh, you know uh, not natural. which doesn't suit to the indian environment so if i want to because uh, uh, the you know the way we pronounce indians pronounce is different so we just want the kids to learn that kind of hearing rather than you know they should be able to communicate with others if they communicate in other kind of accent then uh, things would be different they'll be treated as an alien in the crowd that's the reason So you basically have to hire someone and record. Yes, I'm a professor. Uh, my student does all these recordings, and we find out whether the recordings are good or bad from the teachers, whether the voice is being prolonged or it is very uh, fast. So it, uh, uh, I literally dedicated all my uh, weekends for this, all holidays. I was working with hospitals on rainy days and stuff, taking a crowd of students with me. The two, I work in women college. I take women there. so that they get more attached to the society and keep on working yes. uh, is is it um, like for for maybe an an innovation like a brand um, yes does it um, select one of multiple possible pronunciation by maybe yes uh, yeah you know uh, one app they want a different indian accent to be done suppose uh, supp- i have shown nine apps one app is done by one particular voice second app is done by another kind of voice and stuff because you know it's all indian accent and that two native telugu language accent which student should know which uh, the patient should be knowing to be said so we can because you know we want to make them to understand different frequencies of the language my frequency would be different his frequency would be different 
but you know the uh, kid should not be uh, in a sense like everyone's frequency would be only my voice basing on this app yes thank you all of you